Okay, so here's my media system just booting up. You can see I replaced the um, the regular Apple with a, an A. The burning A is kind of hard to see in this light. Just a little extra touch. Instead of the bright purple or gray screen. You'll also see in the bottom left hand corner that I have my Mac Mini, which is my media PC. I have the account set to auto login. And there's the media PC. It's going to just take it a few minutes to finish loading everything. I have one problem, which is this particular item doesn't run automatically to run this. Uh, really cool app called Transport. So I have it a script set up to do it, but I don't have it running automatically yet. So Okay. So with that, normally I will use this keyboard which has a touchpad as you can see on the right for moving the mouse around. Let's see if I can move it around. I also have a regular Apple TV controller and with some of the software that I have I can bring up a menu decide I want to load my regular Plex um, software which is the kind of the interface for everything and then I can go into my music It's only beginning, it's true, just when I thought my time was through. The other thing that we can do is go back out. And you'll see that some of these have backgrounds have to do with the artist. So the background's a little bit cooler than Apple TV as well. Now, a lot of this stuff has to be set up. It takes a while. Um, I have video channels that I can go into. I can either scroll like this, or I can click on the video channels, which will bring up a whole list of them all. Then I go to my Amazon account, browse these movies, and basically any of this stuff will, will play. I can't remember if the beginning of this is actually interesting to watch or not. You can see how easy it is to actually get going. Fast forwarding is very simple with the remote. I can just quit out. So let's go ahead and go all the way out of this interface. If I want to instead start Hulu, Hulu has a desktop client which is pretty good. So now I can use my control to scroll around in here. Okay, and then in addition to that, you can just use the keyboard to and mouse the same as you would any other computer. Um, 
Actually, let me show you this other demo. So if we go down here, here is, well, just one moment. Had my email up, okay. So you can watch the mouse. As we get to the edge, it's gonna play a sound, and then I'll show you the coolness. And now I'm controlling the mouse with my trackpad, only it's up here, so I can use a much better trackpad without shelling out 60 bucks for one. I've cranked up the size of the fonts in Google just so that it will um, be more legible from back where I was sitting. In addition, I have this little landing page set up, so in case I want to go to Pandora or GrooveShark or anything else, I have a quick and easy way to see it from my desktop. And this is all stuff that you would do with any old computer anyway. Um, I think that's all there is to show. Obviously anything that you can do, any media you can watch on a computer, you can watch on this screen. Oh! Oh, okay. I forgot. One major deal. Okay, so the other issue. So I'm going to scroll back over there. And that will bring me back down to... Oops. Back down to my computer. I'm going to do the same thing that I can do if I had an Apple TV, and I'm going to mirror my screen. And hopefully it'll work here and not crash. There we go. So now we have an exact duplicate, replica, of my screen here. The other thing I can do is I can take any of my audio on my I, on my uh, iDevice, iOS devices, my iPad or um, iPhone and play it up there this, the same exact way I, uh, that I would be on an, able to on an Apple TV except I can also be using the computer at the same time as I'm streaming the audio. So that is my MediaPC solution for my Mac Mini.